the Starfield hype continues. More new Starfield information revealed during the first day of GamesCon, as well as a detailed breakdown of the first mission you'll experience, which leads you to the first step out moment once you launch the game. If you're new to this channel and is interested in Starfield content, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on future videos. Without any further ado, let's get started. At the Xbox showroom at Gamescon, Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, says that the review build is not the final build of the game. They're still working on further polishing the game before the launch date. Todd Howard was also there and stated that one of the movies which inspired Starfield is the movie Interstellar, written by Jonathan Nolan. The intent of the Starfield booth is to show players the beginning of the game with a slightly edited down version. He also mentioned that the more you give to Starfield, the more it gives back. During an IGN interview, Peach Hines mentioned that he spent 150 to 160 hours in the game and hasn't come close to finishing the game. There is so much stuff he intentionally avoided. He says you can spend a week doing nothing but being on a planet, also on being only in a city and not leaving. There are thousands of hours in various aspects of the game. He also recommended that we shouldn't ignore our activities in the game. The intent of Starfield is to allow you to do what you want and go where you want. We've gotten a breakdown of the first mission from Simon Cardi from IGN. It says, if there is one thing Bethesda is known for, it's those step out moments. The first foray out of the unknown, whether it's the opening of the long sealed Fallout vault or soaring sky dragon welcoming you to a new world of danger and wonder. Starfield is no different, wasting no time in introducing you to the vast beauty of its world to great effect. But we'll get to exactly how that does just a little later. Here's a rundown of exactly what happened in the opening minutes of Starfield's first mission. Fittingly titled One Small Step after seeing it at the Gamescon 2023. The sole date is May 7th, 2330. You find yourself on the Argos Extractor Mining Outpost on the moon of Vectora. The first voice heard is that of the supervisor Lin, the obvious leader around here who has one simple rule listen to Lynn. She's accompanied by a fellow miner, Heller, who provides a sense of levity and charm. It's clear from the offset that Starfield will be a home of Bethesda's typical mix of quirky characters supported by punchy writing. The writing also does a great job at a very early stage of exposing you to any universe language and lore. Slang such as Dusty's is casually thrown around as you piece together what these new words mean. The well-worn industrial mining suits only add to the sense of place created in these opening moments, as do the design of the machinery being wielded. In particular, a huge whirring drill that reminded me of Thunderbird's mole. The mine itself is one large cavern that you walk through as Lynn and Heller remind you of the task at hand. More minerals, more money. The atmosphere isn't breathable without a mask. An early example of this being a place humans aren't meant to be. Stalagmites and stalactites frame the cavern while red lasers slice through the air casting a scarlet glow across the sand colored rocks. The visuals here are a noticeable step up from Bethesda Game Studios, but may be quite comparable to recent graphical powerhouses. Environments look great, but character model seems to possess the classic Bethesda stiffness. There doesn't look like there is a lot going on behind those eyes. A thing that doesn't threaten to underwhelm, however, is simply the majestic sound of music. With the stirring and mysterious laden stirring accompanying these early footsteps. After a quick tour, you're encouraged to pick up a laser cutter for yourself. A red beam all of your own bore into Bellarium deposit before exploding them and sending them off into your inventory. Mining for ore may not be the most exciting way to start an adventure of such thrilling potential, but this is a ruse for something far more valuable. You soon find yourself wandering into a tunnel alone. What could possibly go wrong? What meets you is the first tranquil, oddly beautiful sight, a metallic blue deposit surrounded by sparkling floating residue. Before you know it, you're dipping your hands into the strange artifact and experiencing a 2001 a Space Odyssey-like mind warp and visions. In some ways, this is not too dissimilar from the opening of the original Mass Effect. Upon waking, you appear to be suffering from the event, 
although there is barely a moment to consider that before Heller and Lynn placed a tablet before you, signaling the beginning of the character creation. It starts with your choice of biometric ID, essentially a preset to begin shaping your appearance from. You can go on to change everything from your body shape, walk style, skin tone, to the peculiarities of your face. There are also tabs for backgrounds and traits, from which you can pick three, each of which come with its own pros and cons. Once created, you're told a constellation contact is about to arrive to buy the artifact you discovered, a sheet of weathered metal with circular markings on it. Constellation is a group of explorers that seem to carry an almost folklore status in the world. Heller remarks that half of the crew probably don't think they exist. What follows is the moment you've been waiting for, Starfield's first step out moment. You leave behind a clinical wall of the medical facility you've been recovering in and step out onto a spaceport framed by a vast moon vista, a yellow tang sky, blast out brightness, and a large spacecraft makes a noisy entrance. Again, this is the moment for the soundtrack to shine as it grandly swells, empathetically communicating the true start of this grand adventure. You barely have time to soak up the view, however, before the serene sky is really interrupted by the approach of the new constellation arrival, a large spacecraft blasts into the frame before settling down and lowering its doors. A man named Barrett emerges, accompanied by a long-limbed robot who is later revealed to be the potential companion, Vasco. You chat and begin to make a deal before, surprise, Crimson Fleet pirates arrive. They've been on the trail of Barrett. Interestingly, the objective in the top right, pick up a weapon, is listed as optional. Suggesting a pacifist path, here is optional. On this occasion, however, a shootout follows involving the players equipping both a pistol and an SMG. A small group of pirates, five or so, are held off thanks to your first taste of gunplay. With the muzzle flares silenced, the exchange of information and valuable objects can finally continue. Barrett is impressed. He tells you that you're a part of a whole thing now, and you should go on your way to the city of New Atlantis to meet the constellation. A distant objective marker is set on a distant planet, but its smooth flight just isn't written into the stars. Crimson Fleet Ghost, an apparent class of fighter ship, appears and a dogfight ensues. Once dealt with, we get our first look at Starfield's galaxy map. We zoom out a couple of times and reveal planets within the solar system within the galaxy as a whole. A grab jump is initiated and it looks quite stunning as the blue white fills the screen, swirling around as you make the leap. We're then given a very brief tour of the bustling and seemingly sprawling city of New Atlantis. A montage fades between glimpses of coffee shops, gardens, sci-fi skyscrapers before we're led into a much more modest, classy and wood decorated surroundings of the Constellation headquarters. You're welcomed by the Explorer group as the demo ends. The adventure has truly begun. This is an awesome way to start an adventure. I like the way they transition you from working a boring job to accidentally discovering a relic which leads you to being introduced to the constellation, propelling you into a compelling adventure ahead. Todd Howard did mention that this is the edited version revealed at Gamescom. This intro will slightly be different once we get our hands on the game. For more Starfield content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I'll see you 